Welcome back everyone. Boeing workers are set to vote today on a new contract proposal after weeks on strike. Brady Wakamaya explains what's on the table and what's at stake for the economy. It's been more than 50 days since machinists at Boeing decided to go on strike. Although the picket lines were mostly empty on Sunday, Thank you. Andre Johnstone is still here, outside of the Renton factory. Our union um, motto is we cower to no one, and I'm living by that. Machinists we spoke with are anxious for the vote on Monday, with a new offer on the table that involves a 38% wage increase over four years. That's 3% higher than the last offer. And a $12,000 ratification bonus is also being proposed. The deal does fall short of the 40% wage increase the union originally asked for, and it doesn't include restoring pensions. We've been asking for the pension for months and years. We don't feel like they've addressing that part of the union whatsoever. The union representing the machinists posted on its Facebook page on Saturday, encouraging members to vote yes, saying in part, the decision to end this strike is right where it needs to be, in the membership's hands. Your entire bargaining committee believes it is time to settle this strike and move forward. It's unclear how the vote will go, but what is clear is John Stone wants the leaders of the union to do more. I feel like the, the rank and file people in the union are doing their utmost, yes, but our leadership and bargaining committee is, have not done enough. No. The six voting locations in western Washington will be open throughout the day Monday until 7 p.m., with four of the sites opening as early as 7 a.m. My message to Boeing is uh, trust the workers. We want the best for this company. So far already, the Boeing strike has subtracted $3 billion from U.S. gross domestic product. After the break, what we know so far about a deadly pileup crash out of Michigan involving 15 cars.